An exciting find for Bay of Plenty man in the wake of one of the region's most destructive floods in recent years. It's a set of mower tracks preserved in rock that was washed downstream during the flooding at Matata near Fakatane last year. And as Rebecca Singh reports, scientists are amazed the tracks survived. Mangled undergrowth wasn't the only thing brought downstream by the Matata floods. Among the debris, large dislodged boulders, and one of them had a message from the past. This is the goods. Now this, this really, this tops the pop. Um, I never thought that I'd see anything like this at all. Imprinted on the rock were 12 similar sized moor tracks, estimated to be 300,000 years old. Back then, this would have been a floodplain scarred by volcanic activity, and moor would have come out of the bush to drink. So there was some mud on top of these, and um, the mower stepped through it, and now we're seeing the impression that was left in this um, um, ash layer below. It gives some indication that, hey, more could survive events that could devastate landscapes, come back in and repopulate these areas. But the tracks may never have been found if it wasn't for local man Robert Butler. He'd spotted them while out walking his dogs and contacted an Auckland University team who were already working in the same area. It's sort of, well, maybe a touch embarrassing that as geologists we'd been wandering up and down right past the very block that they're in, uh, maybe 10, 15 times. Hikaroa's team was amazed at how well preserved the tracks were. The block can wash down in this massive flooding event that we know has destroyed parts of Matata, and yet the prints have survived that tumultuous journey down the stream. But they may not be here much longer. The layer of rock that the prints are in is very, very brittle. In fact, this crack along here only formed after the prints were first discovered, so who knows how long they'll be here. One estimate is that they'll be gone in a year. It's hoped they'll be set in resin before then. Rebecca Singh, 3 News.